Well, here's a quick rundown. Updates, upgrades. This started off being the Hyper Racing 1600 watt, 48 volt, with, it came with the 12 volt, 12 amp hour batteries, which finally died. I upgraded to these. These were crap. Then I upgraded to these, which were the same size, but heavier, um, 12 volt, 15 amp hour batteries. Still had the same terminals, so everything's good. Four batteries will fit in that, makes 48 volts. Then um, I upgraded from the 1600 watt motor to an 1800 watt motor. Same controller, I got a couple of more miles an hour. Um, and just in case you didn't see the previous video, that is a 49cc Chinese CAG motor, C-A-G, I think it's called. It's got their gear reduction on it. I changed the sprocket to a variable pitch belt, and that variable pitch belt goes down to a 10-inch um, V belt pulley that I manufactured onto that wheel. Um, I added a couple of kickstands uh, for support. I also added nitrous, which that's what that button is for. Other than that, this is still, um, it, it's still in its original configuration. I took off the knobby tires. I put on these uh, tires because most of my riding is on pavement, so <clears throat> I added some fenders and a grab bar. Uh, the fuel tank, I run uh, Rec 90, which is 90 octane, no alcohol. I add boostane to it when I am going to run the nitrous. I also, so I have the twist throttle here uh, for the electric with a a uh, 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 gate valve here that will lean out my mixture. I also have a thumb throttle over here for the gas power. And the next incarnation was to go from the 1600 watt to the 1800 watt. Same controller, same batteries, same wire configuration, got a couple of more miles an hour. Then um, I, I was up to, let's say, um, you know, I, 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 could, I could peak out about 45 miles an hour with the electric and the gas and hit the nitrous. Um, it was everything that this thing could do. And then I bought this from the um, same supplier. It was used. It had problems. It's basically the same as this cart, except for the battery tray is the main difference. This will hold four SLA batteries with the T2 terminals. This one will hold six LA, SLA batteries with the T2 terminals. Um, the battery tray is bigger on this one. It came with a 60-volt battery and a 60-volt 2000 watt motor and what I did was I upgraded to this 3000 watt motor and we'll talk about the cooling fins the heat sink here in a minute and then I had uh, purchased uh, these other batteries right so from the supplier I had purchased a 48 volt <clears throat> battery pack this is the big 48 volt battery pack see how big it is right and then two other battery packs i got from chinese which were both um these right here the 2000 milliamp hour 20,000 milliamp hour battery battery they're 48 volts and the way i wired them was as you can see i wired those to a, a, a t connector and wired those to another t connector to this battery that battery to a T connector to a big 100 amp fuse. The 100 amp fuse is 
the Scorpion 100 amp fuse like this. There's an example of a regular 40 amp fuse in a 12 gauge wire. That is a 100 amp fuse in a 8 gauge wire. And then I also, to get the 72 volts, I ran my wires. Um, the wiring configuration comes from all the positives, goes through my positive, goes through my, goes through my 100 amp um, fuse, and then the 100 amp fuse goes to a negative of the battery. See that spark, so it just the controller just took some juice. Negative of the battery out of the positive, right? Out of the positive into the another negative of another battery. So this gets you from 48 to 60, and then you run it to another battery from negative out to positive, out to positive, and back into your controller. So your positive from your last battery jumps it from 48, 60, 72, back to your positive of your controller, and your negative from all your 48 volts, right, goes all the directly to your controller negative. So positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, positive into the controller. That is an 80 amp controller. What came with the bike was a, your standard crapola, no-name brand controller. Um, it was probably in the 30 amp. Um, I got this 30, um, the 28 amp from a, another uh, buy. Uh, again, it's crap. Then I upgraded to a, this 3,000 watt motor, and it came with a 65. Let me get you straightened up and focused. It came with a 72 volt, 65 amp controller. And that freaking thing is huge. It will not fit in the front where that controller, I had to shave it down on both sides and shove it into that little compartment. That is like a 45 amp controller. And that's as big a controller as I can get in this in this battery box. But the 65 um, amp controller, <coughs> I can fit in here. And the 80 amp controller, I can all, it fits in the same place. So I stuck the 80 amp controller in the front. Then all three of these 48 volt batteries all teed together. And then two SLA batteries in series to bring up the voltage, and now um, I've got the 3,000 watt motor with the heat sink, which I'll leave a link in the description to my eBay store uh, where I sell those, and they work really well. Um, much longer run time, um, and much more cooling, and much longer motor life if you run this in your third speed. So this has three, um, and and here's my. Uh, you turn on the key, right? And it'll show you. It'll show you display your 72 volts key switch. Standard standard issue. The same thing comes on this this bike. Um, and then I, of course I have uh, three speeds. Um, first speed um, with the gearing I have. Right now, I have the gearing set up where it's optimal um, with what I have. And I believe uh, first gear will get you about um, 31. Second gear will get you about 38. And third gear will get you uh, 46. Um, that's with the gearing I've got right now. And the gearing I have right now is um, 11 tooth on the engine, which comes with the motor. And uh, I've got an, uh, on order 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, and 9 tooth. And 
all of them have came in, and I have tested all of them except for the 10 tooth. It's still supply chain issues. It's still coming from China. And I believe this one, the the sprocket on the back. Let me check the sprocket on the back. I believe it is a 54. Yes, the, the sprocket on the back is coming 54, 64, and 74. And I've got it down to a 54, 11. That gives me the most mile an hour, but kind of like the least amount of, uh, of um, the, the kind of the least amount of power for, the, for, for what I'm doing. Um, it also comes with reverse. Uh, reverse doesn't work unless you're almost stopped or completely stopped. Um, and again, I have switched out this brake for a a thumb it's a, it's basically for the right hand but you flip it upside down and you can turn this into a left hand turn on some more light if this helps um you turn this upside down and then it gives you your thumb throttle for when I eventually, I've got another CAG motor I'm going to put on this, because you can see I've already got the 10-inch um, 10 inch V-belt um, for this. It's already manufactured. Up. It's already on there. And I swapped out the tires, which were these 280 10s for uh, these... Um, directional highway speeded speed rated tires uh i think they're 320s i can't remember now um kenda nylon 3.00-10 dash 10 um the reason why is because they're better speed rated, they're fatter, they're taller, and um, they still fit inside that frame. Um, so I wanted the bigger, heavier, speed rated tires, um, and they still fit in the front end. And um, it does have disc brakes. Um, uh, it's a mechanical disc in the front and backs. Um, and yes, the battery setting on the little um bike rack back here i i don't have room to put that second sla battery in this battery compartment i either have to take the controller out and mount it elsewhere to get that battery in there but for testing purposes right now with that 80 amp controller i needed that other battery for the 72 volts and it works that's not a perm permanent situation but that's what I got for now. Um, yes, my neighbors are cutting down the rubber tree next door. That's what that noise is. So, um, I also swapped out that with a 3,000 watt motor. However, this 40 amp controller won't do anything about it, right? I only got a couple of more miles an hour. So, I've got to upgrade the controller. That's got to go in that same compartment has 72 volts worth of battery. Now, the, the, this is the heat sink. This is like a 1600 watt 48 volt motor that came with the motor originally. This is like the 2000 watt. All of these four inch motors, whether they have the base on them or not, Right, these all have the base on them. They're all they're all motor mounts the same, from 1600 watt, 1800 watt, 2000 watt, 24, 26, and 3000 watt motors. They all have this this base plate the same size. They'll bolt up and replace all of these. And these are heat sinks, and they work fantastically. And they you can slide them on the end if you want, but they they, they pop on right. And I'm going to set you down, and I'm going to do that again.
right? So let's see if you're in focus and in frame. Yes, these these on four inch motors snap right on and they fit. Look how good they fit. They fit really well. They snap right on. There's no gap. You don't need any thermal compound. You don't need any um, any any, uh, any compound at all. They they work just fine without any compound at all. They're movable. They're reusable, as you've seen, and they work really great. My runtime on this motor. Um, increased substantially before it got too hot to touch right and the cool down rate on this motor was significantly faster because of the cooling fins and i'm thinking that i if i wanted to mod it even further i've got a little room down here i can rotate it around and cut another one of these up with just these fins and thermal paste it on the bottom there to give me one more set of fins. Or um, you can go onto eBay and get uh, thermal heat sinks and just glue them on um, here and there to add. Um, mine, uh, because of the suspension, I need this gap right here. That gap folds right this this piece right here will fold right into that gap as the suspension is moving right the suspension will move and that goes right into this gap and that's all the gap i need i don't really need this gap and i don't need that gap but they are reversible they're reusable no compound needed okay so i think we've pretty much covered everything um Yeah, so enjoy. <laughs>